Hey everybody, welcome back to part two of how to create steampunk gears in Corel Draw. Now when I originally filmed this video, after I got done editing the video, it turned out to be about an hour long. So I decided to break it up into two parts. So this is part two of how to create advanced steampunk gears in Corel Draw. If you missed the first part, I'll put a link in the description below so you can go back and watch that one too. So let's jump back in and finish up these advanced gears. Okay, let's go to page three and we're just gonna use the same blue gear here again so we don't have to make another outer circle. And this time we're gonna grab another five inch circle. We'll just grab both of those, press P to center, right click, revert to object, shift, scale this down. About there. We need to click on this gear part, right click, revert to objects, and we're gonna select both of those. We're gonna go ahead and knock this middle part out, back minus front, and we'll just save that over here. And we'll just say gear three, because the rest of these, we're just gonna do some different middle pieces. So we'll just use the same piece. All right, so we're gonna go back over here, click on the star tool. We'll go back to five point star, drag out the star, and I guess we'll do that four by four and we'll give that a fill, no stroke. Press P to center that. We'll press P to center that. All right, so they are both centered. I'm gonna hold shift and scale this up a little bit. And I'm gonna come back over here to fill it. And I'm gonna round these corners a little bit and it'll round these corners, the inner corners and the outer corners. So I'm just gonna do maybe 0.12. Uh, let's try point two. All right. Yeah, that'll work. Hit apply. Hold shift and scale the whole thing up a little bit more. I'm going to make sure these are both the same. 3.695. 3.695. That way it's squared. Hold shift. I'm going to make this a little bigger. I'm gonna grab my shape tool. I'm just gonna delete these center um, nodes. That way I can bring these down. Cause they're gonna get, um, this is all gonna get welded together anyway. I just want to bring those down some. All right, so make sure we got that pretty much where we want it. Now we can select both of those, hit weld. Whoops, gotta right click on that, revert to objects first. Select both of those, weld them together. Now we have a star shape cut out of there. We'll come back to our symbols, drag over our center knockout, press P to center, right click, revert to objects, grab all those, back minus front, and there's our gear with the star. All right, so the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna drag the same one out, right click, revert to object, P to center. And this time we're gonna grab our rectangle tool. We're gonna drag a little square out here, our rectangle. This time we'll make it about 0.35 wide, make it a little bit wider. We'll give it a fill, take off the stroke to zoom in a little bit. And we wanna to come to our transform. We just wanna rotate it here from the middle. So we'll just do 90 degrees, apply. All right, so after we get these created, we're gonna come over here to our basic shapes. Click, we're gonna select this corner one. We'll drag out that shape. I'm gonna come over here, make it one inch by one inch. I'm gonna press P to center that. I'm gonna change the color, take off the stroke. All right, let's zoom in on that some. And what we want to do is grab our shape tool, click this little red dot, and we're going to drag that in to the edge. And we want to hold shift, we want to scale this up. Let's just do two inches by two inches. Grab our shape tool again, grab this little red dot, just bring that over to where it intersects with that. And you'll see on these two corners we have them perfect. Now we'll click on it, right click, 
convert to curves and then what we need to do is get our shape tool we'll just grab that point we'll just drag that straight up to where it intersects with that edge do the same thing down here on these two corners as well and now we got everything matching up now we'll grab these two lines and we'll grab that center piece and, and we'll weld those together we can change the color and we'll go back to our symbols manager we'll just drag this over there um, center cross now we need to right click revert to object and then we can grab both of those weld those together and we'll grab our center piece drop that in P to center and we'll just do that 0.75 by 0.75 grab the whole thing again back minus front oops revert to objects <laughs> and back minus front and there we have that gear all right the next one is we're going to use the same gear right click revert to objects and this time let's blow that up a little bit we'll create a rectangle here press p to center that click on that and press P to center that and we'll make that 0.25 wide give it a fill get rid of the stroke go back to our transform tool we just want to rotate one of those 90 degrees like that and we're gonna go back to our symbols grab another one of these five inch circles P to center we want to right click revert to objects we want to take off the fill we want to add a stroke and let's just do maybe a five point stroke four point stroke that'll work yeah let's just do five now we want to hold shift we want to scale this down to about there with this outline selected we want to come over here to object convert outline to object we want to grab our center piece p to center we're going to grab that whole thing and we're going to weld those pieces together whoops we got something that's not there we go revert to object now we can select this whole thing weld those together like that grab another center piece p to center right click revert to object and i'm just going to do that 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 and we'll grab that whole thing do back minus front and knock that hole out there so there's three variations there I'm gonna go back and undo that for just a second I'm gonna weld those pieces together drop that over here say cross two then I'm going to weld all those back together and I'll put my center piece back on there grab all those P to center uh, I'll just do 0.5 0.5 by 0.5 grab those back minus front there we go all right I just wanted to save that little cross because I need to reuse that on this one so I'm going to grab the same gear again let's change the color because We've been looking at blue for a long time. And we'll just do this orange color. Oh, right click, revert to objects. We'll just do this orange color, P to center. I'm going to grab this cross that we just made, right click, revert to objects. I'm going to change that color to blue, press P to center. Come over to my transform tool, change that to 45. I'm going to make one copy, apply like that. I'm going to grab both of these pieces. I'm going to weld those together. And now I'm going to rotate that 45 degrees divided by 2. Except I don't want to make a copy this time. Undo. No copies. Just rotate. There we go. And now I just want to take my pen tool. I'm going to click here. Come straight across. Click here just to add a line there 
I want to come up here to my stroke. So we'll just do that a 14 point stroke. Come up here to object. Convert outline to object. We'll just change that color. Now I'm going to select it. Click on it twice. Move this to the center. Now I'm going to rotate this around 22 and a half degrees each one. Whoops. Maybe we should do 45 degrees. Might work better. There we go. We'll just rotate those all the way around. Now we'll grab all of those center pieces. Actually, we'll just grab the whole thing and we'll just weld all that together. Come back to our symbols. Grab that center piece. P to center. Shift. Drag that in. Let's drag it back out just a little bit. We'll right click on that. Revert to object. Select the whole thing. And back minus front. And knock that out. I want to show you one other thing on the center part here. I'm just going to undo that for a second. And I'm going to right click over here to make a copy. And then I'm just going to back minus front those again. But on this one, I'm going to leave that solid. I'm just going to grab my pen tool. And I'm just going to draw a line here. Press P to center that. And I'm going to change that to maybe a 20 point stroke. Oop, that's too much. Let's try 12. That's better. And then I'm going to come over to my window, Dockers, to my object properties. And here I'm going to change this from a square end to a rounded end. Now I'm going to come over here to Object, Convert Outline to Object. And I'm going to come back to Transform, 90 degrees, one copy, apply. I'm going to grab both of those, weld those together. And now I'm going to grab my gear and that center piece, and I'm going to back minus front. And then we're going to have a hole like that, because sometimes there'll be a rod that has to go through this, and the rod will be like this shape, so it goes through the gear, and the gear just fits on the rod like that. So that's another way you can do the centers is with that little cross piece. And I just have one more piece to show you. We'll grab the same gear again, right click, revert to objects, P, whoops, let's move that one over here a little bit. I'm gonna change the color on that to something else. Zoom back in a little bit. And we're gonna grab this little cross we just created again, revert to objects, Grab both of those, press P to center. You blow that back up a little bit again. So this time what I want to do is, I'm going to grab my rectangle tool, draw a rectangle. Let's do two inches by two inches. I know that's too big, but just a place to start. I'm going to center that, press P to center it. I'm going to go to transform, no copies. I'm going to rotate that 45 degrees. Going to hold shift, going to scale this down some, just to right there so we can cover up that circle. No stroke, give it a fill color. Now I'm going to grab this center piece and I'm going to grab this piece. I'm going to weld those together like that. Now I'm going to get my rectangle tool again and we'll make this one five by five, P to center. Hold down shift, I'm going to scale this down. About to there, and we're going to give that a stroke. And we'll do about, let's just say 12, and eh, maybe 10. So now I'm going to get my rotate tool again. This time we're going to say 90 degree rotate, one copy. I think we need to do 45 instead of 90. Apply that. Now we need to select these pieces and go to Object, Convert Outline to Object. Then we'll weld these two pieces together. Now I'm going to come up here, I'm going to double click here, double click here. Then I'm going to move that center point down a little bit so it doesn't stick out. Same thing here on the bottom, double click here. Double click here, drag that center point down. 
Now we have all of our pieces. We have this all outlined and everything. Everything is reverted from the symbol. And we're gonna grab all this. And we're gonna weld it all together. Now we'll come back to our symbols, drag out that center knockout again, press P to center, right click, revert to object, change the color, and let's just do 0.5 by 0.5, grab the whole thing, back minus front, and there we have that one. So there's all of our advanced steampunk gears that we created. We've got all these symbols that we saved, and what we can do with that is come up here to file, save as template, and we can name this Gears Workshop. We can save that in our templates, say OK. And now we have all of these pieces saved. So let's close that and we'll open up a new one. We'll say new from template, click on my templates, and we can double click on this Gears Workshop. There's all of our gears we've already created. And then here's all of our symbols. So if we even wanted to make some different kind of gears with different teeth, we can do that. We can add more symbols to this. And if you add more symbols to this, just come back and do file, save as a template. Just click on that name and then it'll name the file the same and click save. And it'll say gearsworkshop.cdt already exists. Do you want to replace it? Just say yes. Say OK. And then it'll say whatever new symbols or whatever new gears you've made. And you'll have that template you can go back to and open it up and reuse these gears or reuse these components or, you know, whatever you want to do. So I guess that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you do happen to create some cool new gears, please post them to our Facebook group page, Rhino X Nation, and show them off. If you have a question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you later.